Good afternoon, Richmond County, and welcome to another edition of the RO Sports Show brought to you by Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. Of course, with high school sports, uh, spring sports rather, being on a halt for the foreseeable future, we here at the RO Sports Show are going to be bringing you a special interview today, as well as the Raider Football Extended Highlight Series that will be kicking off this evening at 530 but for now, we're being joined by Rob Ransom, head uh, baseball coach for the Richmond Raiders and also the athletic director for Richmond Senior High School. So, Rob, we really appreciate you joining us today. I'm glad to be here. So, first question here for you. This is your first year as Raider uh, head coach for the baseball team, but not your uh, first time coaching baseball. However... Uh, what kind of adjustments, if any, did you personally have to make when taking over for Ricky Young? Well, Coach Young, you know, set a good foundation for the program. All these the kids that were returning, um, you know, they were their fundamental skills were very solid. There really wasn't a whole lot of adjustments. We just continued uh, to do the things that they've done before at the high school. We just focus on fundamentals um, and continue to work hard every day. So Richmond started uh, its season off 0-3 uh, and 0-1 and in the SAC after last playing Purnell Sweat. Uh, unfortunately, you guys were no hit uh, almost a month ago. So talk to us for just a minute about what was going on there in those first few games. Um, just got off to a slow start. Um, we were in really good shape in the Anson ball game. Uh, we were up three to two in the seventh inning, and we just made a couple mistakes and couldn't close it out, and sort of let that one get away from us. And we lost to two very good teams, um, Cape Fear and Pernell Sweat. Pernell Sweat had a, a great game against us. They're a uh, senior-led team, um, and um, they just got a good ball club. Just beat us. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Coach. Piggybacking off of that question, um, as far as seniors, juniors, what's the uh, what's the status of the team uh, as we currently sit? Is it senior heavy or, or the opposite? We have six seniors, um, six juniors, and five um, sophomores on the team. All right. So with that being said, what were some of your team's strengths and weaknesses coming into the season? Well, just experience overall, um, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of guys returning that had varsity experience. They were on the varsity team, but they didn't have a whole lot of playing time on the varsity level. So that was definitely a uh, weakness for us. Um, but I will say that those last couple practices we had before the announcement came um, that, were, that laid us off, I thought those were some of our best practices of the season. I thought we were building momentum. And I was really pleased with the way our seniors had taken over some of the leadership roles. Yeah, so again, I'm glad you mentioned that as well. So let's talk about this giant elephant in the room, which is, of course, COVID-19. Uh, what kind of impact will this suspension have uh, on the Raider baseball team specifically? Well, Matt, we just don't really know right now. Um, of course, they've you know we're out of school until May 18th. Right. That puts us, um, you know, beyond our season really um i don't know what the state what the state's going to do yet um you know if we come back to school that would give us three weeks of school provided that we stayed on a regular schedule i just don't know what it means for athletics we're just in we're in unknown territory right now right absolutely and uh i want to further that discussion here in just a moment but um, obviously, a lot of things are currently up in the air, but what did you tell your guys training-wise as to what they should be doing during this downtime? You know, it's really hard to train. Um, you know, we talked about before we left, just making sure you stayed in shape, trying to run and throw on your own. Um, we're not allowing guys to be on campus right now to use facilities at the high school, so they have to find places on their own right. uh, to go work out. Um, it just makes it tough for everybody. You know, the students were, the guys were certainly disappointed, as, as you can imagine. Um, but, you know, we just we just don't know in this situation. This is a little bigger than sports right now, you know? Absolutely. Um, so you, of course, uh, also have a bigger role to play here uh, with you being the athletic director, as I mentioned earlier. So overall, how is this affecting sports at the high school? Well, obviously, it's shut everything down. Right. Um, 
you know, we're still maintaining the fields and we're taking care of the equipment, making sure everything's ready to go in case we uh, do come back. But um, we're just we're going to move forward and get prepared for our next seasons when, when that comes around. Uh, right now, we're just on hold, though, because we don't know what's going to happen to the spring season, you know, until they make that final announcement. You got you to gotta wait for that to come before you can move on to the next thing. Absolutely. Um, Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It won't be long before the summer workouts will begin and, and that type of thing. So those will obviously be a concern, and, and hopefully this will be lifted before too long, and, and those will be able to resume without any interruption. That is everyone's hopes as we currently sit. Uh, what about financially, though? How is that affecting Richmond Raider sports right now? <laughs> well, we don't have the travel expense, but we don't have gate receipts either for um, right. you know, folks coming out to ball games. So it is putting a burden on the athletic program, just as putting a burden on all businesses. You know, school systems are not in the business to make money, but we do have to have income in order to keep our programs operating. And um, it's, this is definitely going to have an impact on that. Uh, I just don't know what to what to what extent yet. You know, we had to cancel our reverse raffle um, this year, which is a huge fundraiser for our athletic department. Right. Uh, so that that's another blow to us. But I, I I just don't know what the ramifications are all this for all this and what what it's going to mean to us just yet. Yeah, and throughout this series that we've done interviewing the coaches out at the high school, um, again, obviously no one has all the answers, but as the athletic director, again, you have a very pivotal and larger role to play. So as the AD, um, all athletes have, and I'm sure will be looking to you moving forward. So what did you tell your coaches, the staffs, the players before the layoff? Well, you know, we really didn't get a chance to meet with uh, the, the coaches before we left. We've been meeting uh, through the school, and, you know, we've just – Mr. Butler's done a good job of uh, stressing this as well. Sure. Just trying to remain positive. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the videos the football coaches have sent out um, and that type of thing. Some coaches are a little more uh, in tune with social media than others, and they've used that to stay connected. Um, we have a website that we've or we use the band app for the baseball and we've stayed connected that way but really there's not a whole lot to be done right now we just all have to sit and wait yeah it's kind of like sitting on the tarmac at the uh, at the airport that's uh, exactly right I, I hate to be the Debbie Downer here but theoretically or uh, specifically what do you tell seniors whose school year and potentially their athletic career could be over you know, that's a great question. I wish I had a good answer for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, nobody really has a, a blueprint for this, and, and I don't think you really know what to tell them. Um, I just appreciated our guys for the work that they put in um, and the leadership they've shown in the short time that they've got to uh, perform this season. Um, I hope that we'll be able to have some kind of closure, but I just tell them to keep their chin up and, and keep moving forward. That's all you can do. Absolutely. So let's go the other way. And let's say that uh, if school is somehow able to come back, uh, you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but what would that uh, scheduling wise for sports look like? And what would you like to see the baseball team specifically improve on if you guys are able to play a few games? Well, if we were able to play a few games, I would just like for us to improve on closing out games and, and playing all 27 outs. You know, we got to do a better job of, of being focused the entire game and, and not having that one bad inning or one bad play, um, you know, snowball on us and get bigger and bigger. And I think right. that's happened to us a time or two. Um, we've had some guys that have struggled going to the mound throwing strikes, and, and that's hurt us, and especially in the Pernell Sweat game and at Cape Fear. Um, so I would I would just say, you know, you got to take one pitch at a time, one out at a time, and, then, you know, try to stay positive is what we would try to focus on. Well said, Coach. And finally, my last question here for you. Raider, uh, excuse me, RO Sports contributor Dion Cranford posted a poll uh, online on his personal Twitter feed. I don't know if you had a chance to check that out, but basically it read, the North Carolina high school football schedule will be disrupted by COVID-19. The way it turned out was 52.5% said most likely, 47.5% said no we will be over this. Now, of course, this is not an official poll by any means. However, 
Uh, what does that say to you as athletic director that people are thinking that uh, football and fall sports in general could be in jeopardy? And if so, uh, how is that going to affect things, you think? It just lets you know how serious this actually is. You know? Yeah. Um, anytime something we're talking about something that's going to happen two months down the road, you know how big this this really is. Um, losing football or, or postponing or losing games would would be I don't know that would be uh, catastrophic almost to our athletic group. We need those gates and we need those games. Um, you know, football helps fund the other programs within right. the athletic department, um, and certainly you know Richmond Senior High football is a is a big deal. It's sure. a huge deal, um, and and people look forward to it. It's a big, it's a big outing in our county, um, and I just think it would, you know, be really harmful to us as a county. So I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. I'm hoping we're going to be able to get back on the field before then. Um, you know, if it, there's some delay, you know, on, the, on summer workouts or something, so be it. But I do hope that we'll be able to, uh, by the time fall rolls around, we'll be able to play. All right. Well, that's going to do it. We really appreciate you joining us, Rob. Of course, this is Rob Ransom, Richmond Raider head baseball coach and athletic director for Richmond Senior High School. Once again, Coach Ransom, really appreciate you joining us. Thank you, man. I appreciate the opportunity. All right. That's going to do it for this part of this week's RO Sports Show. Coming up at 5.30 tonight, it is the 2019 Raider Football Extended Highlight Series featuring the home opener between Richmond and the Clayton Commons. Every week, we'll be playing highlights from Richmond's most successful season under head coach Brian Teal. From Clayton to Vance, we've got every home game plus the Scotland rivalry lined up. I'm Matt Harrelson reporting from the Richmond studio. Everybody stay safe and have a great day.